back here at Hawk Stadium where tomorrow it'll be a packed house for CMO's home opener. And fans will notice a few changes before they walk through the gates. The athletic director Brady Barkey gave me a look into the CMO Stadium. It is a busy day here at Hawk Stadium. You know all about how busy it's been. I'm joined by Brady Barkey. How are you today? Doing well, doing well. How are you? Hey, I'm great. So this has been a, a labor of love, would you call it, right? Yeah, something like that. It's been a long couple of years. We're excited to finally get a chance to be able to open this back up. What changes are we going to be seeing to the stadium? You know, I think you're going to see a lot. Um, obviously, getting the seating capacity back, I think, yeah. is, a, is a big piece of it. Um, but I think the fan amenities are going to be what's really, um, you know, most noticeable. I think before you even get in, you'll notice the ADA accessibility as we have a path over um, to the east that will allow people to get into the stadium, um, you know, much more conveniently. Um, we have a much better opportunity to be able to welcome fans in. Um, we're going to change some things up. We'll have um, a clear bag policy and be able to, to get people screened and into the stadium a little bit, um, you know, better and, and make it a, a safer environment for everybody. Um, but then once you really get inside, I think the number of concession stands, um, you know, points of sale we have, the number of restrooms, all of those things, people are going to see significant improvements over what we used to have. It's pretty fair to say work isn't slowing down from what we can see, right? No, it's not. You know, there's still a lot of stuff. There's some cosmetic stuff that we're not done yet, yeah. um, and we won't be done for this weekend. Um, so it'll still be a little bit of a work in progress, but we're trying to get as much of it done as we can um, before people get in. Every little bit, every little touch, um, I think just makes it that much better. And so they're pushing all the way to the, to the last minute. I mean, when you look back and when the construction first began and the revamping, I mean, how much has gone into this? Yeah, it's been a lot. You know, I think from, from obviously the design and the, and the efforts that we've had just to try to, to get to... Um, a construction point has been a, a major thing, you know, the funding obstacles and all of those things. Um, but then obviously just the construction, you know, that, you know, construction delays and challenges and things that you run into while you're, you know, in progress, it, it's all something you didn't expect. And, and so we've had to navigate through a lot of that. There's still a little bit left for us to have to navigate through. Uh, but I think the end product people are going to be really pleased with. And I think um, it's going to be a, a really unique environment for people. I mean, having a chance to walk in here and be standing in the concourse and be able to see straight to the field, it's actually reminiscent of the original Hauk when it opened in 1930 because this middle area was open and you could actually see straight out to the field. And so it's kind of a nice little touch um, to be able to, to connect us back to the original Hauk. Yeah, and talking about the end product, you already see some of that already out there on the field. I mean, what's that feel like to finally have that, you know? Yeah, it's, you know, it's really neat. Um, you know, we, we opened up with soccer, obviously, earlier this season, but we haven't been able to have people over here on this side. And so, you know, for people to be able to come and, and get back on our original side, um, have our team be able to come back onto, you know, our yeah. home side and have the fans behind them and, and all of that, I think it's going to be a really, really special thing. And, yeah. um, you know, I really expect that we're probably going to have a, a, a sellout um, by the time this is all said and done this weekend.